Hello everybody, I'm so glad to see that you're all joining in into this Delphi tutorial. So this is our first video and we're not going to do any coding right now. I'm just going to show you around and show you how everything works and looks and what it does and stuff like that. So here you don't have to really worry about anything. This is just how the, the intro, you know. What you really gotta do is you gotta go to file. And this is in most cases what you need to do. And if you're working with Delphi, you'd want to say BLC forms and BCL forms and applications. But if you're working with HTML and stuff, you can go here. But since you didn't, if you didn't follow my HTML tutorial, you'd never actually need to go here. But here is the BCL forms and applications. You click on that. You really need to worry about any of the things that's here just yet. Uh, you just always start with this one, all right? These will come in later. Now, we're just going to show you guys around. So first off, we have files. Now, after you've opened your file, you'd want to save it. But do not say save. We're going to say save is not going to save everything. So you have to say save all because it's going to save the project as well as everything else that might have come, come with it. So you can either say shift control S or you can say save all right here. For the first few videos, I'm going to say right here so I can get into, guy, into your guys' heads that you should be using this one. Now let's click there. And then here, usually you can keep it like that. It's not a problem. Or wait, you first you find your directory. So you go new because I am already where I want to be. And now you just say folder and call whatever you want. So we're going to go. Delphi test. We're going to our first folder, and in here you can just rename it to whatever you want. You can even leave it like that, but I suggest you go FRM, whatever the name should be. So we're going to go test, and if it's the unit, which is usually the first one, you just go underscore U, and you also see here it says U right there for unit, and you just put U there. Uh, you don't need to do this, but it makes it easier to navigate. Just say save, and then you're going to have to save the project. Now, just do the same thing FRM with the name underscore, and instead of U, you go P because P is usually the, the one you want to open. So, just that just makes it easier, you know. Otherwise, you're gonna have to read it the, the like dot DPROJ, and you don't always want to do that. So, you just go save. And you have saved it correctly. Now that's about all you have to worry about in here. The rest is not really that important. I never use edit. You can use it. Uh, nothing really important here. We don't have to worry about it. Search. Nothing really to worry about. Actually. View. Uh, you never actually use this either. But maybe you will find something that will fit to your liking. And then you will use this. But otherwise. You don't really have to worry yourself with this either. Refactor, I never use this, and I probably never will. So uh, you can decide if you want to use this, I don't know what's going on in here, so yeah. Project, here you can find a few cool things, for example compiling it, building it, but you don't need to actually ever use these, unless you're creating something specific to, like, you know, actually use. For a game right here I've created a game. Also here's the folders where you can just like as you can see there's the underscore P and stuff so easy to read. Now what I have done is I've created a game now here and basically if you say build you build this exe dot exe you know and you can play the play whatever you used. So that's what all of this is for. Then you have the options option, which is a uh, pretty useful as well. For you remember this game I just showed you. Now you might be wondering how do you change how it looks? How do you change the icon and stuff? Here, 
Now there's the icon. You can change the icon here, change the title, and check go make a help file. You can change the version info. Now this is if you're creating like applications and stuff for actual people, this could be useful. But yeah, that's about all I use here. You'd actually ever know. I, you'd actually never have to use this either. And then you have to run, where you can actually run it or run it uh, without debugging. But you don't actually need to click this, you know, you could just click this, which is also run. Run doesn't really do anything right now, it just opens it up and shows you this is how it looks. It doesn't have. Why did you do that? It doesn't have anything. Why are you. Oh, wait, okay, never mind. See, this is basically the .exe. Can you stop doing that? Why are you doing that? The .exe file. So you don't have to click this, but you can if you want. I just like clicking this. You have the component, which I never use either. Tool, which I never use either. Windows and help, I never use either. any of those. Then most of these you can find for yourself. For example, this is save, control S. You can find it here. All of this you can find that here. This you can also find here in view. Uh, like, uh, I'm not sure you can find it somewhere here. But there's nothing special about it. Saying none won't do anything. Going undocked is just making everything as it says undocked. You can just move it around. Like, let's say you have a bunch of things, you gotta check out how to move it around. Mess with it, not really important. It does very confusing things. Then you get the debug layout. Which is uh, nothing special, it's just what you get normally. And then you also get the default layout, which is also nothing really too special. But I just go with the default layout because it's the easiest of them all. You can see which one you want and which one you like, you know. Up to you. We'll get to this, we'll get to this. And here are all your projects. Now, this is just a project. You can add another project here, for example. Um, I can add this, I can put it there, but I'm not going to. And then you can add a project here. Oh wait, let's do it, let's, let's show you what to do. So let's say you add a project here. So you can like, wrong project. There. You add a project there. Hello. All right, which one is it? But usually you can add projects there. I don't know what's going on here. Let's see. This one should be the actual one, actually. I don't know why it doesn't want to. Can you stop? Can you add, please? Don't be like that. Oh, here it is. So it has anyways been added. Usually it will have an extra one here, but I said closed. So here it would usually be. Then you can. Then it's, and it's both projects, you know. But this one would usually interfere, interfere with this one. You can change it here somewhere but I don't do that I just say remove pro remove project this will remove that project and you will only have your one project there which is mostly useful just for later on you know because you never know when you might accidentally do that then here you can just resize the form the form is nothing the form is actually the whole application I can't say nothing special see if you resize it this suddenly becomes bigger this here is where it will pop up if this is in the middle, it will pop up in the middle of the screen. If it's there, it will pop up there and stuff like that. So let's make it pop up right there. Here. So if I run it now, it opens up here, which I find really annoying. Usually, what I do is I click on it, and here at the Object Inspector, I go to either Windows State and make it maximize, or I go to Position here. And I just say make it into the center, desktop center. There is another one, but I just pick whichever one works for me because I don't have two screens or anything, so it doesn't bother me. So now I can move it around and stuff, but it will always stay there. Why does it do that? It's really annoying. Anyways, so yeah, then you have that. So now let's get to do help. Now let's get to do tool plash it. Now here is where you can find things like buttons, uh, memos, panels, which I don't necessarily like using, 
bunch of things which is pretty cool and another thing to notice if you accidentally like put your memo on the panel um, let's create an, another memo memo if you accidentally put your memo or, so, or a button or whatever on the panel you would see it's quite annoying because it's on the panel but you know it makes it look nice and stuff later on and it does have special effects and stuff but if you do this and you don't want it here it's annoying because it can't go out and stuff let's delete this memo because this memo is unimportant you can just go to edit delete that memo is gone but see if you want this one to go away what I'm gonna do is you gotta go here to this the form structure uh, this is basically how everything is built like see that with the children and stuff like that like this is a parent this is his children and this is the parent's grandchild but you can make this grandchild the parent's child by dragging it to the parent now as you can see the memo is no longer part of the panel so we can just put it wherever we want good thing to note because that can become really annoying if you don't know how to do it now we can go here after we have covered basically all of that here we can just change things for example the name which we will get to later when coding Use your button, we go BTN and then the name like press button press. And then to change the caption, you just go to caption and you remove the button. There, now it's just press. Now this doesn't do anything yet, it's just a bunch of components on a form. You can do whatever you want, it's not going to do anything. See, this is just so you can edit how everything here looks. You can change the colors and the size and stuff like that. You can all do. You can do all of this inside of the code. Um, like in this game right here, I did a lot of things just inside of the code. Um, especially here when the first version came out, the beta version. This is all like set inside of the code. Like when the game starts, all of that is like set to a different place with the code. Now we don't, we're not going to start the code just yet, we're going to do that in the next video. Now I'm just showing you how everything works. These three you don't really need to mess with, I never mess with them because you know I'm not, I never use them so I never mess with them. Then you have the code which we will get to later on and how to edit and stuff like that because right now you can't do anything really, it's just a bunch of pieces of stuff. Um, now what you can do is you can either press code or design and it will swap between the two or you can press F12 and it will swap between the two as well now here also on the object inspector is nice to note that you have events for example on the press button we have like on click event like if they click on it or uh, where's the uh, like in drag like after it drag and they stop something will happen on exit, on enter, you know, a bunch of useful things. We'll also get to this later inside the code. Okay, now back to here. Now here you also have history, but I never use it because I never need to. Now yeah, next time we'll get to coding and how to start with the basics, for example, coding a button and a shape. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.